Oh, this is Lonely Boy 323. Uh, once again, April 8th, 2011. Friday. Finally, Friday. Um, anyways, uh, today I'm here to talk about um, Google Voice. Google Voice and um, Sprint. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, on March 22nd, um, Sprint uh, recently announced that uh, they will be partnering uh, Google's uh, Google's Voice product. Um, and some people um, seem to be confused uh, what um, Google Voice and Sprint uh, got going on together. Um, well, basically, it's basically uh, basic math. Uh, but uh, it's okay. I, I'm here to um, explain exactly what uh, Google Voice is and uh, what's the difference. Uh, what's going to be different about Google Voice uh, together with Sprint? Uh, it's basically uh, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing big. Um, uh, but uh, I will explain uh, what Google Voice is first uh, to actually um, explain. Uh, what's the whole big deal about Google and Sprint uh, anyways uh, but Google Voice well basically what Google Voice is uh, you can make free calls uh, uh, vote vote calls on uh, whatever it's called V O I P uh, I don't know how to pronounce that actual word <clears throat> but basically what you could do is uh, make calls uh, over uh, data over your internet uh, um, you could uh, do calls also uh, from your uh, from your I'm sorry from your Android phone if you have um, Google Voice uh, installed on your Android phone and basically how you install that is by um, going uh, to the Android market and go to uh, Google uh, Google Voice um, and install that um, and basically what Google Voice has to offer and I think it's pretty awesome um, my opinion uh, Google Voice gives you their own phone number so uh, for example if you don't want to give your phone number to a certain person or um, if you just want to have your Google Voice for business um, Google Voice provides you a, a phone number uh, where people could call you and um it would is it will ring any phone you have your google voice uh, attached to so basically you would have to have uh a, uh a, another phone number attached to your google voice so it would allow it to ring your phone uh as for me i have it attached to my sprint phone number uh so whenever i get a call from my google voice um it will ring my phone um, but this is the neat thing uh, whoever's calling you uh, does not know your Sprint phone number or your Verizon phone number or whatever uh, phone provider you have uh, they do not know your uh, Sprint I mean your uh, cell phone provider phone number but they know your uh, Google Voice phone number so um, that's pretty neat as for me I think it's pretty neat uh, and if you ever want to change that uh, that phone number um it's uh twenty dollars uh, i believe uh charge google voice uh google charges you twenty dollars if you ever want to change your phone number uh but here's the neat thing um if you're uh doing um if you're calling anybody that has a cell phone or a, a landline it's completely free with Google Voice. Uh, not like with Skype, they charge you a five dollar or nine dollar uh, Skype plan uh, to make unlimited calls. With Google Voice, it's actually free. Uh, it's free. So let me let me make myself clear. It's free when you're like um, calling someone from your laptop or from another device. But if you actually try to call somebody directly from the Google Voice application from your Android phone, uh, be aware it will charge your minutes. It will. Um, it does not. Uh, it does not uh, run through your. It does not. The call does not run through your data. It actually goes uh, 
towards a voice call as for example um let's say that i want to call um like if i want to call somebody let's say whoever i want to call uh Every time I press a call, it's going to ask me here. It's going to pop up and ask me. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Ah, there you go. It says call with Google Voice or call without Google Voice. So if I click any of those options, um, it's going to go as a normal call. It's not going to transfer you to no application. It's going to go as a normal call. But um, whoever you're calling... Um, if you choose to call uh, through your Google Voice, and, th and their caller ID, it's gonna show uh, your Google Voice number. It's not gonna show your uh, Sprint or Verizon or whatever company you have. It's not gonna show that phone number. It's gonna show your Google Voice phone number. Um, and now that I top that, um, with Google Voice, uh, you could do call forwarding for free. So for example, um, if you have, um, if you have if you attach your Google Voice because you could attach your Google Voice phone number to so many phone numbers not just uh, one phone number uh, not just your uh, cell phone provider you could attach it to your to your uh, home I mean you could attach it to your home phone number you could attach it to your office you could attach it to any phone number you want so uh, whenever somebody calls your Google Voice it will ring all the phones at the same time so uh, if you're like in the kitchen, um, pick it up there. Or if you're at the office, you can pick up your phone there. You will never miss a call. So that's pretty amazing. As for me, I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, but it's kind of annoying in a way. What if you're in the same place and all the phone numbers ring at the same time? You know, it drives you nuts. But um, it's a pretty good option, you know, uh, to never miss a call if you don't have uh, your your phone with you. It's pretty good. Um, also, if you want to make, um, if you, uh, if you want to block somebody, uh, for example, if you have somebody annoying that's bugging the crap out of you, and you don't want that person to call you anymore, um, if they have your Google Voice phone number, but if, you, if they have your Google Voice phone number, you could actually block that person. Um, you basically, what you do is um you you call your Google Voice phone number uh from any uh phone that Google Voice has your Google Voice number is attached to you could call your Google Voice phone number um I'm gonna do that as well so you guys could hear hopefully you guys could hear uh, once you call your Google Voice phone number uh a little uh automatic machine's gonna talk and watch. Account, please enter your four-digit pin. It's going to ask you to enter your four-digit pin. You have no new messages. To place a call, press 2. Or to change your settings, press 4. You could make calls from uh, your Google Voice. You could block people's phone number. But actually, uh, to block a person's phone number, uh, basically, you would have to do it through the application. Uh, but uh, if you call your uh, Google Voice phone number, you could listen to your voicemail messages. Uh, the voicemail messages, it's a uh, I think it's a lot better than the one you uh, usually get from your cell phone provider. Um, you could get uh, your voicemail message messages into a text instead of just listening to them, so they'll uh, they'll text you. So that's pretty awesome. Um, also, uh, when you're in a call uh, on your Google Voice, um, an operator uh, like uh, an automated system actually will call you and ask you, "Do you want to accept this call?" Uh, you could actually get uh, gives you an option uh, for one for yes two for no and you could also the amazing part is you could also record the call um, you could record the call you know in, ca in case you're doing a business call you could record the call but of course you have to let the person know that the call is being recorded uh, so that's pretty cool you know you could record the call um, also uh, with Google Voice um, you could um, um, have the option where uh, if you don't like receiving uh, unknown unknown calls, aka restricted phone numbers, or uh, aka private numbers, uh, Google Voice will block that. Um, you will not receive private calls. And if and if um, that person decides to call you private, they have to say their name 
and the operator will call you and ask you do you want to accept this call uh, so that's pretty amazing <laughs> that is pretty amazing um, um, and another thing um, if you want instead of if you don't want your um, your current uh, voicemail provider that you have um, you could actually use uh, the, your Google Voice uh, voicemail instead uh, but uh, currently uh, Sprint is only supported right now so uh, <laughs> kinda screwed if you don't have Sprint uh, sorry I, I keep looking at the on my phone screen but I keep receiving a call I keep ignoring it uh, but uh, that clearly uh, covers uh, what Google Voice is uh, now what Sprint with Google Voice with Sprint the only difference is that um, if you're not a Google Voice uh, member uh, you get to keep your phone number uh, your Google, your Sprint phone number uh, and they'll attach your Google Voice into that and you get all those sweet uh, future features where uh, you won't receive private calls and uh, you can forward your phone number and all the stuff that I mentioned you get all that for free uh, with Sprint uh, so that's amazing whoever has Sprint if you don't like private calls you will not receive private calls anymore um, I believe that's still not available yet um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happened uh, so call forwarding is free uh, the voicemail you get from a uh, Google Voice is free uh, basically everything I mentioned um, it's free uh, with Google Voice uh, with Sprint um, also um, just to make it clear if you don't want um, to keep your uh, Sprint phone number you could actually uh, call Sprint and tell them that you want your uh, Google Voice phone number attached and they'll attach that to you um, but the thing is that you will not keep your Sprint phone number anymore uh, whatever phone number you have you will not keep that what uh, what takes effect is your Google Voice phone number so basically you you're like changing phone numbers uh, but that's a pretty neat feature guys like um, you get call forwarding you get uh, block block certain phone numbers from calling you block private calls uh, pretty neat feature and it's for free <laughs> what else can you ask for free um, that I I explained it uh, the most possible way I could think of uh, of Google Voice with Sprint. Uh, if you have any questions, if I left anything out, guys, let me know in the comment below. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, but one last thing before I leave, though, um, I found out a very cool feature that the uh, HTC Evo 3D will have. Uh, basically, when you have your HTC Evo 3D connected to uh, your TV to your HD TV. Uh, with your remote control, with your own remote control, you will be able to control your videos and your music and your pictures uh, inside your phone. So you won't have to be close to your phone to uh, control uh, to control your phone while connected to the TV. Uh, you just control everything with the T uh, with the con remote control TV, uh, and that's called MHL uh, technology. Uh, you can look that up uh, online. Um, that's what they said it will have. Hopefully, it does. Uh, so we'll see when it comes out in uh, summer 2011. Uh, thought you guys should know that. I think that's a pretty good feature. Instead of being close to the phone all the time when you're watching, watching it on TV, and you could have a control with the TV, well, with the remote control. Pretty neat feature. But anyways, uh. This was Lonely Boy 323. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment below. Hopefully, you can like this video. Oh, and uh, check out my uh, my uh, priority video of uh, Can You Hear Me Now? HTC Evil 3D commercial. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool video I did. I liked it. Hopefully, you do as well. Uh, see you later, guys.